Now that we've gathered all of our ingredients, it's time to start cooking the paella. We begin with the vegetables, which are soaked in olive oil and then seasoned with those marvelous spices we bought at the market. Next, the seafood, the shrimp or gambas, the langoustine and the squid, followed by the rice and five cups of shrimp stock. Cover this and let it cook until the rice is done. Then add the clams and mussels, cover again, and cook until they open up. Ashley, in order to make this paella, we're gonna use the stock we made with gambas heads, some fresh garlic right here, some onion, red pepper, little peas, fresh peas that we picked yesterday, and the beans, fresh squid, the gambas, and the langoustine, the fresh clams, mussels, the rice from the fields that we drove past yesterday, pepper, armagnac, fresh virgin olive oil, sea salt from the Mediterranean right here, the spices we picked from the market, paprika and saffron mixed together, saffron that's grown here locally also, and I think we got it all. We should start cooking. I'd like to say that a paella is a real festive dish. Yeah, okay. Really nice to make with your friends. Thank you. And of course being next to the Spanish border here, it's a real so traditional close. dish. Yeah, we, we cook it all the time in the south of France. Cheers. Cheers. All right, here we, we go. go. So the extra virgin olive oil. Oh, okay. so good. Mmm. I love the olive oil here. Pichelin olives. Pichelin olives. So I would seize the onions, the garlic, and also the, the beans. The beans. So those are going to take a little bit yeah. as we kept the skin. Daniel was saying that he, he, here locally, when the beans are so fresh, they actually cut them and they eat the whole thing with the skin. The red pepper, the the pepper. garlic. Great. They all take about the same amount of time to cook. There's some salt that's going to bring out those juices. Actually, look at this view. We're actually going over an aqueduct. Straight from the Black Mountain. That is so cool. So that's starting to look really good. We could even add some of the spices already. It's right. always good for the spice to get the flavors into the Absolutely. vegetables. Paprika, saffron. Soft chili. Soft chili, yeah. So give it a little kick. I like a bit of kick. Once this is cooked, I would put everything to the side and just seize our gambas and our langoustine. Deglass it with some cognac or amagnac. Delicious. So around here, they, they do this dish for any event. That's great. Everyone can make it his own way. You can add chicken if you want. Is there room for these langoustines? So as soon as these are it's just about cooked. You don't have to cook them all the way. Yes. We're going to add them at the end. Look at that beautiful color. These gambas are coming. That's the Mediterranean there in the paella pan. Oh, that smells so good. So these are the, the smaller gambas that we, we peeled and made the stock with. A little bit of amagnac just to recuperate the, the soup. And I'm going to throw in the Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. That's for sure. So let's throw in the calamari. Just seize that real quick. So we're ready to put the rice in. So how much do we need now? Uh, okay, it's three bowls. There's a lot of stuff to eat today. So what we're doing now is we're toasting the rice to give it a bit of color. We're going to add the beans. Great. And more beans. We have all the ingredients nicely mixed together. I think we're ready to pour in the stock. Yeah. stock. Yeah. You can see it's yeah. boiling away. Kind of like you'd cook a risotto. I think I'm going to put four cups, please. I'd cover it with the stock and then we're going to. There we go. That's saffron. Look how the saffron is. All the colors come out with the white wine. So we're going to cover it. So it doesn't nice. evaporate too much. Perfect. So just keep an eye on that. Every once in a while, add some stock. And then we're going to add the seasoning. That looks good, chef, huh? Santé. Santé. Bon. Let's take a look. Ooh. Wow, that's that looking looks, good. Sounds good, huh? So I think we're ready to throw in the pans. Yummy. And the mussels, too, no? Just wrap them around the pan here, like this, too. That looks oh. delicious. So how about if we just rearrange the delicious gambas and the langoustine? All right, so we can let this simmer another 10 minutes. 10 minutes and we'll until it all opens. Keep checking on it and wait until those muscles open up. 
Oh, look at that. That looks so good. And the smell, it is amazing. Beautiful. The squid is melted away with the juice. It should be nice and tender. And all the clams are opened up. The mussels too. We're ready to roll. That looks yummy. Mm. Is it good? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I think we've made one of the best paellas I've ever had. I'm gonna try one of these uh, langostinos. Very fresh. Very